Ooh, what's going on guys? I'm Jake, the Offensive Gamer, and this is Alien Isolation. And if any of you watched the previous video, you might think to yourself, but Jake, you said that you were going to play for an hour and a half, or something to that extent. And, uh, I don't really understand why you're introducing yourself in this uh, video. And the reason why is because uh, I'd say about three quarter of the, uh, quarters of the way through, you'll notice a cut if you go back to the... Uh, previous video, uh, about three quarters of the way through the video, um, the the game crashed, and during that time, I was like, okay, you know what, I'll go ahead and compile everything that I have so far, and get it registered in my editing program, so that I don't need to worry about it compiling uh, later, and uh, while I was doing that, I decided to go ahead and look up the beginning, very, very, very beginning of each mission for the next uh, three or f four missions, something, something like that, up, up to mission ten, I think. So, um, that's why I'm pretty well versed on where the beginning and end of each mission will be. Um, that's as far as I went with it, and it's purely just for the sake of me being able to record for prolonged periods of time without having to, uh, worry about, you know, not having an intro for each part or anything like that. Um, it's not all that important, but it's something that I like to do just to maintain the sake of, for the sake of, uh, continuity and something that I've done for the past, you know, six months or something like that for this channel. That's all. There's a piece missing. I need to fix that. Oh no. I need to find a compression cylinder. Cylinder, excuse me. Oh shit. He doesn't see me currently. Neither of them see me currently. I'll just pick that up, thank you very much. And I'll go in here. This vent looks all nice and warm and cozy and safe, unless there's an alien around, in which case I'm totally fucked. Well, I would assume because, you know, this seems to be the alien safe haven, the vents. Mahoney, thank God. We got jumped. Oh, shit. We're trapped. Elevator's out. We don't know where to look. Is he insane? Peterson wants to know if you're fucking insane. Those things have started attacking people. Whoa. Okay, Francis out. Asshole. Fuck, that was close. I'm not making new best friends. All right. That was really close. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. I don't think I need this on, actually. There seems to be enough light in the vents to where it's not that big of a deal. I keep on talking in a monotone voice. I'm sorry. It happens when I'm trying so, to concentrate. What, we... what did you think that noise was we heard earlier? Sounded like an explosion. I figured that out, genius. I mean, what caused it? Gotta be weights. I heard he's trying to kill that creature by setting traps. Remote charges, can you believe that? He's gotta be crazy. Maybe that's the answer. I heard that weights has some kind of safe haven up near the Galleria. We can go there. Did you not hear what I said? Crazy fucking stop up. Yeah. We're running out Dumbass. of options. Then shut up and let me think. That guy doesn't pay attention. I came from there, so I probably should go down this way. I like that I don't need a, a flashlight right now. That's helpful. You know, for anybody who hasn't played this game and you're just watching on YouTube, I still want to recommend buying this game. Um, up to this point, I wouldn't say that it's the most scared I've ever been, but um, in terms of just overall as a horror game, I think it's very well made. It's a lot more... Um, how do I put this? Uh, I probably should get up here for very, very quickly. Uh, it's a lot more gamey than I initially thought it, thought it, it uh, that it would be. And, um, you know, that's a weird term, but th by that I mean, like, there's a lot more game mechanics than I initially anticipated. I th you know, there's games like, there are games like Outlast and, uh, Amnesia, The Dark Descent that are much more, you know, 
basing everything on atmosphere, and it's not like a walking simulator, but, like, you'd still do things, obviously, but, like, it's very bare bones, like, go do this, go do that, go do this, go do that. And this game has that, but it also has, you know, this crafting system. It has, like, uh, you know, the ability to shoot, and, um... Yo, I don't know, there's just a lot about it that reminds me of a game like Dead Space more than just the basic idea of, oh, you're alone in space and you're an engineer. You know, the mechanics of it feel a lot like Dead Space as well. Um, you know, it feels more like um, a traditional horror game as opposed to this new wave of first-person indie horror titles. And obviously this isn't indie, it was published by Sega, but the point still remains that um, it just it feels kind of like more more of a game than than those types and I'm not knocking those I'm not knocking amnesia I'm not knocking outlast I'm not saying one is better than the other I'm merely saying that um, there is a big difference between this and, and uh, those types of uh, horror titles at least in my observation okay there's an error there uh, w, uh, w Y are years ahead um, Wayland Utani. Okay. Uh, report Smythe, head of synthetic development. I just received schematics for the 120, whatever the fuck. Uh, I don't know how much we paid our mole, but the Seekson board isn't, uh, is gonna, uh, excuse me, is gonna need to shell out a hell of a lot more. I know this seems old tech for Wayland Utani, but it's, uh, beyond anything we're capable of. Our key executives and shareholders won't listen, but we need investment. The company and all its subsidiaries are light years ahead of us. Oh. You'd probably do something about that. Smythe, I've been looking over your report on the Wayland Utani androids and your proposals for improving the working Joes. Now, I appreciate the work you put in, but understand we live in different worlds. Yours is full of extrapolations and estimations. Mine has an executive suite and $8,000 suits. Bottom line is, I gotta look after the money, buddy. I hired you because you were the cheapest, not the best. Find a way to bring these costs down, huh? Ransom out. Once again, Ransom proving, you know, without beyond any shadow of a doubt that he's a, a complete fucking asshole. Uh, I really stuttered over myself throughout that entire statement. My apologies. I was uh, drinking some water that just kind of unexpectedly ended. I wasn't paying attention to the subtitles. Alright, what the fuck am I doing here? Seems like all of them are downstairs. So, I don't think I have much to worry about in reference to the people. Um, but I have no idea where the alien is currently. I'll go ahead and check out this little place here. I'm, I'm not gonna risk it, I'm just gonna save. I noticed that, like, right after you save... In this game, for some reason, it takes a while for it to, uh... For it to register again or be made available to, you know, save for a second time, uh, which can make things difficult on occasion, but um, you always want to take the save before you do something just because, you know, what if you can't do it afterwards, right? Um, all right, working Joe Spiel. Uh, Russell, here's my spiel for the potential clients today. What do you think? Uh, Spedding will hang me out to dry if they don't bite. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome to the buzzing heart of Sevastopol Synthetic Solution. Next up on your tour will be the Sistec, Spire, and the Apollo Core itself, but first, an example of Android self-governance. Uh, when Apollo synthetics require a little, uh, a little more care than the repair wards can provide, they come here. We believe this is the first rollout of fully automated synthetic to synthetic medical intervention. No human expertise required. No costly human su uh, surgical training. All data is streamed directly from Apollo and every incision recorded in its logs. This is the future, gentlemen. Tomorrow, together. Alright. That's a terrible spiel, and it was made even worse by my reading. Uh, Russell, upstairs, was, uh, upstairs, want a full rundown on what we've got stacked in component storage. There's some useful stuff in there. Some junk. They want value estimates, too. Smythe. Alright, sounds like Smythe is in charge of Russell and... Who's the other guy? Um, Spedding. No, hold on. No, Spedding is in, in charge of Russell and Smythe. That's what it is. Okay. There's something up in the bed. Oh, fuck. 
Oh god. He just took him with him. The alien literally just took one of them up into the vents with him like he's a fucking snack. It's like, it's like, it's like somebody goes into their fucking pantry, and like, okay, I want this, I want this, I want this, and they all eat that shit right there, and they're like, ooh, I'm gonna take this with me. That's essentially what the alien just did. I don't know whether it should be, you know, hilarious, or I should be disgusted. I'm not really sure, honestly. I'm not, I'm not positive on how I'm supposed to feel about that. Oh, what now? What do you want, alien? I'm busy. Okay, so I went up there earlier. That's what took me up there, so... that There was a doorway down that way. Fuck me, are you serious? Now I gotta go all the way around? Ugh, I might as well just quit the game. Alright, well, I'm gonna, um... First of all, I'm gonna avoid that shit. Fuck that. Um, I'm gonna go down the left here, and, uh, hope- that should be the right way. There is no definitive waypoint, but, um, I'm gonna assume that I'm trying to find the, this compression cylinder I need is gonna be in the components warehouse. Just going out on a limb saying that I just have this weird feeling. What's in here? Uh, there's scrap. Don't need that shit. Okay, so we got another terminal here. Okay, tomorrow together. Together, t wait. Together tomorrow? Is it tomorrow or- Is it tomorrow together or together tomorrow? You guys need to fucking make a decision on this. Alright. Seekson's journey into colonial space and official history by Sebastian Sieg, uh, who is the founder of Seekson, by the way. Um, or one of them, at least. Um, a remarkable growth. Segan's son pro uh, proved to be the backbone of colonial FTL, or faster-than-light, expansion, providing reliable uh, components that could carry humanity deep into space. In so doing, it grew, and by 2066 was running vast manufacture plants in London, Buenos Aires, uh, Nagasaki, and the Lunar... Sh uh, what the... F I don't know. Uh, Wargentine Frontier. Uh, by 2071, the year the Sieg... Uh, or, or is it Siege? I just realized, that could be Siege. No, but it's Siegsons. So, no, I'm gonna go with Sieg. Okay, the year uh, the year the Sieg family sold its shares back into the company, its expansion remained exponential. Single-minded rivals looked on with envy as Sieg and Son became, uh, became market leaders, manufacturing cars, chemicals, educational equipment, and building materials. Towards the end of the last century came a move that would forge our shared futures. Uh, Siegen Sun became Siegson. Uh, we took on the few, uh, we took on the name our customers had known us by for decades, and we turned to face tomorrow together among the stars. I'm so tired of that fucking company line. Smythe, have you been practicing the script for the VIPs visiting today? We need to impress. Noise from upstairs says they're the last potential bidders for Sebastopol's work and drill rollout. If they go with Randy Tawny castoffs instead, the jobs Seeks and have allocated for us back on Earth are on the line. Don't screw up. Spedding out. Yeah, so Spedding is in charge of Smythe. Uh, and I believe that we uh, recently heard an, uh, an audio log uh, closer to the beginning of this part in which, um, fuck, what was his name? I'm gonna go up here real quick. Uh, Ransom was talking to Smythe as well, so I'm thinking that Ransom is in charge of Spedding, and Spedding is in charge of Smythe. Can't access that, motherfucker. Oh, okay, not, not gonna, not gonna do that. Is he out there, or is he in the vents? Is that an android? Fuck. I don't want to deal with that shit. Ooh, save point. Alright, now what's this? Device invalid. Well, fuck you then. 
Alright, maybe this is for later. I've been noticing a lot of places in this... Uh, find a way to open the door to the warehouse. Um, I've been... Oh, this is the warehouse? Okay. Uh, I've been noticing there's a lot of places throughout this game that I've passed up because I didn't have the right equipment. So I'm curious as to whether or not I'm going to be doing some serious backtracking in the second half of this game because I think there's 13 missions total. Use the requisitions Android to access the components warehouse. Fuck that, man. Restore power. Okay, find a way to power up the requisitions Android. I don't know what you want me to do here, dude. I can't go up there. I think I saw a room down there, though. So maybe that's where I need to be. Who knows? Alright, there's a save point. I haven't done anything since uh, upstairs, so I'm not going to save quite yet. What's this? this uh, is this what? What the hell? Level 2 security access tuner. Find a way to power up the requisitions, Android. Maybe this is what I needed for the upstairs, then. Alright, so I just needed to upgrade this. Ooh, there's another thing. I have two things now. Yes, I have two penises. That's what I meant. That was such a... That was such, like, a first grader joke. That was fucking stupid. Alright, so you got some stuff. Okay, the requisitions Android. Spedding, now you've fired me- uh... Wait, now you've fired me, you'll have to descend from your ivory tower to pick up the slack. The guy's decommissioning Sev uh... Wait, what was it? Sevastopol? Okay, the, the guys de uh, decommissioning Sevastopol have free access to supplies and storage, but everything will need logging. So use the requisitions android. Power him up, let him out of his box, and watch him go. Just like me, huh? Uh, by the time you get this, I'll be dead drunk in Gillen's bar. I guess you already know this, but it's been pure hell working for you. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Smythe. Okay, so spending fired Smythe, apparently. No, I wasn't done. God damn it. Um, I just got another message from Spedding about the busted elevator outside the Android, uh, examination theater. My guys have got a million things to do right now, so it's not going to be fixed in time for your, uh, VIP visit. If Spedding wants to be a priority, then maybe he should stop, uh, being a petulant asshole. It's an easy job. Off the top of my head, I can tell you the parts you need are in component storage, row 1, stack B. If you can't find it yourself, ask the requisitions Android, just get off my back, chief. Alright. Okay, error. And then we got some audio. Spedding. You knew full well that these guys were the last bidders for Sebastopol's Apollo system. And you totally fucked the Android presentation. They're not interested. So no bonus for me, no half share for you, and God only knows what it means for the suits upstairs. That's got me pissed. But you know what's getting me even more pissed? I have to stay on Sebastopol to oversee the synthetic shutdown while you go home. Don't have nightmares on the trip back, jackass. Sounds like Smythe got the last laugh. Can I go in there now? I don't think so. No, didn't think so. Oh, that's taking down health. Fuck. Right, I'm gonna refill my battery there. Save that motherfucker. Alright, use security access tuner. Yeah, I'll use that security access tuner. You fucking know it, baby. That was stupid. That was really dumb. There we go. Now what happens? Alright, so I need to go press the button downstairs then. Whoa, what's happening? Noises. I don't like noises. Noises are not good in a game like this. So, keep that shit to a fucking minimum. Alright. Bitch, if you fucking attack me, I'm gonna do something. God damn it. Get my flashbang out just in case. Don't fuck with me. That's right. I need a compression cylinder. 
Components warehouse. Row one, stack B. Follow me. Just keep the noise down, okay? Yeah, seriously. I'm not fucking with you here. Do not make noise. Or I will rape you in the face. In your metallic... Yet, kind of... Weird, latex-covered face. Is that latex? It looks like latex. And your neck is all weird. It's kind of... It looks... Leathery. Like, I don't see how that's fooling anyone. It might as well just... Just, like, if you can't make it look like a full-on human, then fucking... Just just make it look like an, a robot. Make it all, like, kind of... What I assume at this point in time, because it's like the 2100s, make it look retro. Here we are. Your compression cylinder will be found at the far end of this row. One second. Oh, that's not gonna end well for you, buddy. You're not... Yeah, I thought so. Oh! That was beautiful. What's this? That didn't do anything for me. So let's go down. On your mother. Ha. It's a sex joke about your mother. That hasn't been overdone. Motherfucker, I'm already 23 minutes in. I'm thinking I'm gonna just make these, like, really long videos. Like, just do, like, one mission per. And if it's, like, 30 minutes long, then so be it. Uh, because I'm enjoying myself. I'm actually enjoying this game. Not, you know, not just from, like, a horror uh, standpoint. What the fuck does this do? But also just from a game standpoint. Like, I've ac I'm actually enjoying this game. Ooh, what's that? No, no, what? Okay, compression cylinder. Fuck yeah. Uh, did the electricity just kind of magically clear up? I'll take all of that. I just got a key card. I don't know where that key card goes, but I got it. Alright, so now where do I go? Alright, I need to go back to the elevator. I'm gonna save before I do that, because I don't trust this game. Climb, bitch. Where's that key card go to? Because I know I picked up a key card from that guy, so it's like... There's gotta be something to that. Yes, I want to overwrite my currently saved data. Why the fuck would I not? You think this is a mistake? Bitch, if you... You know something I really do appreciate is the fact that they didn't force you to slow down while you have this thing out. Like, I can just imagine that being something that somebody thought... That was loud. I was gonna say, I could imagine somebody thinking that would just be, a, like, an amazing idea as a game mechanic. That, that you have to slow down, like, immensely. I'm gonna go slow, but fast at the same time. Uh, that doesn't even make sense, but honestly, right now, I don't give a shit. That's it, okay. Save, save that motherfucker right now. So something, something fluid plant. That's where I'm going right now. Find uh, exit to synthetic fluid plant. I think I'm pretty close to the end here. All right, I think I said earlier in this video that there's a uh, 13 missions in total, from what I understand, and I'm currently on number seven, so I'm over f halfway through the game at this point. Holy shit. That's the fucking alien. I can tell that's the alien. Whoa! Keep your head together. You can do it. This place creeping out. On your way. Go make this hard. Oh fuck. They see me. Will you do it? Will you do it? Did you hear the way he said that? 
Sound like a fucking tool from, like, Jersey or some shit. Oh fuck, I just bashed Jersey. Oh shit, they're coming down this way. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, go, 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 go. Are you too stupid to actually go into the vent? I bet you are. I wonder if I can actually kill them. That would be excellent. Hey, no, open up, open up. The hell are you doing in here? Die. Where's the other one? How do I reload, by the way? Well, there we go. Solve that problem. Nope, only only have one in there now. Do I have to manually do it every time? Are you serious? That just seems kind of weird. All right, whatever. Where's this other guy? Dead yet? I think he's dead. Sorry. I didn't want to do it. That's a lie. I kind of wanted to do it. I really. I, 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 I wanted it more than anything, but honestly, I don't even really feel ba bad about it, if I'm being completely honest. Is the alien here? I didn't even consider the ramifications of the alien coming back. Alright, well, the good thing is I have a safe point now. I don't like how I have to manually reload every single bullet to the fucking revolver, by the way. That, that really kind of annoys me. Alright. So now I have a save point. And I just killed those two people. They're the first two people I've actually shot to death in this game. Little random factoid for you. Low power. Fuck you and your low power. I'll take that. Never mind. I will not take that because I can't. Ooh, elevator. The Science and Medical Tower Transit. Let's get going.